When I first started out in this profession, most people didn't have a clue what an actuary was. Today, there's still people like that. But, <laughs> but you know, there's still more people that uh, know, have some idea of what it is. Have you enjoyed your life as an actuary? Yes, I have. Uh, I've had to explain it a lot, and it's sometimes pretty difficult to try and uh, express what an actuary is because you can say it's a mathematician, but that doesn't do it. And you can say it's a mathematician in insurance, and that still doesn't do it. And so you begin to have to talk about what you do, not just the generalities, and then it becomes something that they can really put their arms around. When you say you're an actuary, people nod their head and they assume good things, and they assume you must be smart, and they give you some leeway. And you know what? We, in return, as a, as a profession, have a lot that we, we can give back in order to sort of earn that respect. We're probably too small today as a profession because there's some really, really important topics that the actuarial function and the actuarial discipline um, is very, very well suited to. And heavens knows the problems haven't gotten any easier in the last 20 years since, since I was in academy leadership. The problems have only gotten more difficult. Uh, well, I think the profession has changed a lot. It's much bigger, it's much more diverse, many more uh, types of employees, uh, more types of employment, I guess, of our members, uh, much more uh, diverse in terms of gender mix, for example. We have many more women now. He really wanted to make sure that the public understood that um, what the profession was about and that um, there are seven actuaries in everybody's life. So if you have life insurance, you have an actuary. If you have a pension plan, you have an actuary. If you have um, employee benefits, you have an actuary. And so um, he was really just trying to, to make the profession a well-known um, thing in the public's view. I think actuaries you know, must continue to try to bring a reasoned voice, not a shrill voice, not a loud voice, not a screaming voice, but they need to bring a very reasoned voice uh, to these discussions uh, and these debates. Uh, unfortunately, we do live in a very kind of political and polarized uh, society, but that should never keep us. That should never keep us from doing everything we can to try to advance good public policy through the academy.